Introducing the Vector, the latest semi-automatic paintball training gun from Air Power. The Vector is the fulfillment of a long-standing desire to build an accurate, precision-manufactured paint gun that would advance the state of the art and radically alter the commonly accepted perceptions of high-performance paintball. To assure the highest quality in production, the Air Power factory is organized unlike any other. The motivation to produce quality comes directly from the people building it. Air Power maintains the highest levels of precision through the use of the finest CNC manufacturing processes and equipment. Computer-aided design, data analysis, and precision measurement all contribute to the creation of every Air Power vector. Our machinists, technicians, and engineers were hand-selected to meet the needs of our production. All members of Air Power staff are active participants in recreational and tournament paintball. This hands-on experience directly affects the design providing air power with real-time testing. This type of testing cannot be reproduced in the lab. Stated simply, the intention in creating the air power vector was to hand-build a precision manufactured paintball gun that would establish entirely new levels of performance, refinement, accuracy, and reliability. The vector is intended to represent a new definition of high performance in paintball guns. To give the design a fixed point of focus, air power turned to the Heckler & Koch MP5 for inspiration. This all-weather, tactical machine gun embodies virtually everything we envision for the Vector. The HK MP5 is used by some of the world's finest military and police units. These units are also air power customers. Air power has been involved with the training of some of the United States' finest military units. Navy SEALs, Army Special Forces, and U.S. Marines have all used air power paintball guns for training. Clearly, the Vector doesn't equate itself with a firearm, but the basic principles of balance, accuracy, and reliability could be successfully carried over from machine gun to paintball gun. The MP5 came into play in the exterior design as it did in establishing the conceptual design. This ergonomic simulation of the MP5 enhances the Vector as a military training tool. This video manual is designed for the owner to be able to clean, service, and repair the air power vector. With proper maintenance and cleaning, the vector can last for generations. Vector general maintenance and cleaning. The first step in cleaning your vector is to read your owner's manual. The owner's manual gives you great details as to the features and operations of the various functions on the vector. It also gives photographs and individual instructions for each step of assembly and disassembly. Also in the center is a parts breakdown, which gives you the name and location of the various parts. The first step in general cleaning is to remove your barrel. The vector has been designed for easy maintenance without tools, so you can generally take your gun down after each use without having any special tools. The next step is to remove the drive slider pin. Simply pull the drive slider pin straight up, and slide the bolt forward and remove it. Once this is done, we'll now take our foregrip off. Simply take a Allen key and remove the foregrip screws. Make sure that you remember that the short screws go on the top of the foregrip. Once we've removed all four screws from each side, we can now slide off the foregrip. Simply take the foregrip and slide it to the forward portion. Once the vector has been disassembled to this point, this is generally all you have to do. Make sure that you lubricate well where the bolt carrier and the hammer are, and make sure that the action assembly is clean from any debris. The vector uses only the finest subcomponents and materials. Generally, light oiling will maintain it forever. If necessary, you can remove the adapter body pin to access the adapter body. Simply slide the adapter body towards the rear of the gun, making sure not to break the O-rings that surround the adapter body. Once this is done, uh, light oiling and making sure that the bore is clear and you can replace the adapter body. Always be careful not to cut those O-rings. Then we will replace the adapter body pin, sliding that into position. And then finally sliding the bolt carrier 
and replacing the drive slash pin. Once this is done, we can reattach the foregrip. Always attaching the short screws to the top and the longer foregrip screws to the bottom. Always make sure they line up real well. And once you've done that, you can snug down your screws. It's not necessary to over tighten these screws. Once this is done, we just replace our barrel and the vector is now clean and ready for the next game. Troubleshooting your vector. The first problem we'll address is gas leaking from the rear. If you have a rear gas leak, one of the potential problems could be the adapter body O-rings. These O-rings are located in the adapter body and all it takes is a small nick or scratch that will cause it to leak, so inspect these. The next place where a potential leak could be are the O-rings on the valve seat itself and the high pressure block O-ring. Make sure that these things are all free from debris. If you have a leak down your barrel, generally the valve shaft or cup seal is going to be the culprit or the valve seat o-rings so always inspect those and make sure that your cup seal is clean from any debris also make sure that the cup seal is screwed on tight to the valve shaft if you have inconsistent cycling or the gun sticking it could be because your four-way valve is loose so what we're going to do is make sure that we put pressure to the rear while assembling it and tightening down the four-way valve this will ensure that you get proper alignment and prevent it from sticking. Another point that could stick is the side cover screws. If these are too tight, it will cause the gun to stick and it will also uh, prevent it from shooting properly. So always make sure that you never over tighten these screws. The next point to check is the drive slider bolt head. Make sure that this moves freely in the receiver. This can cause binding if it doesn't. We have a full line of accessories coming out for the Vector. One of them is our parts kit. It includes all the O-rings and screws, as well as the wrenches you need to maintain your gun. We have another product called the Power Stock. This is an adjustable stock. It has a high pressure fitting on it so that you can connect it up for remote use. It works well with our thruster. This is the thruster pressure regulator. It controls the output of your bottle pressure and is also a velocity adjuster. You adjust it by simply taking a quarter inch Allen wrench and adjusting that screw. Here we show the power stock and thruster installed on a vector. Our newest product is our pressure gauge. This will allow you to adjust your pressure from the thruster while knowing what the PSI the gun is getting. Creating a new level of performance, the air power vector. In the world of paintball, the name Air Power has become synonymous with quality, accuracy, and innovation. To appreciate Air Power's improvements, take them on the field. Maximize your paintball potential with the Air Power Vector. The true test of a product is to take it and test it. We understand this at Air Power. That's why we build our guns to last. Every Air Power Vector comes with a full one-year warranty. AirPower operates a fully stocked pro shop in our factory. We feature the latest in paintball equipment. Our customers are the most demanding in the world. So when it comes to your paintball needs, AirPower, quality, accuracy, reliability.